What time is it? Uh, 4.30? Guys, I think this is my latest vlog start to date. No, actually, vlog 19 was my latest, but that one didn't even make it into a vlog. So, <laughs> we're cutting it close. Okay, we've just had kind of a hectic day. I had emails going back and forth with people related to like what I talked about yesterday. And then um, I decided to do the like post a picture of challenge. Um, I just posted like a question box on my Instagram and everyone sent in like a bunch of requests for photos. And so then I got wrapped up doing that for a few hours, but that was fun because I don't really spend a lot of time on Instagram usually. So it's kind of fun to like go back through old pictures and see different things and share stuff and I'm out of breath. <laughs> Um, then I did my hair, finished the vlog and posted that. And then we were looking at our groceries and like what we need for the weekend and we realized that we definitely had like some good groceries to get. So we made a list and I was just looking at the list and realizing I don't want to get all of this after Trader Joe's tomorrow in the morning. Like it's going to be a huge shopping trip. So I just decided Vincent has a class in half an hour. So I decided really fast, Vincent, let's go to Seatown right now. So we got like a couple, <laughs> a couple big bags worth of groceries. I'm going to put them away right now. We knocked out like half of our list. So we'll have a much easier day tomorrow. Then one thing that I was thinking is maybe making Rice Krispie Treats tonight. Um, that was one reason that we needed to go to Seatown and not just to Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's only has Trader Joe brand stuff and Rice Krispie Treats, I think, can really only be made with actual Rice Krispies and the best, you know, jet puffed marshmallows as the original recipe dictates. So there you go. We also got Ritz crackers. I'm making this weird like crab thing. I'll show it to you on Christmas. Um, but it's basically, it's basically just a block of cream cheese with like canned crab meat. You drain it really good. You spread the crab, like canned crab meat in a pile over the cream cheese and then you douse it in cocktail sauce. And I know that sounds disgusting if you don't like seafood, but if you like seafood, it's delicious with Ritz crackers. It's literally so good. I grew up with it. It's kind of like a holiday thing. We'd only really have it once a year. So I wanted to get that. Let's see what else did I get. Got some marinated artichoke hearts and some little pickles for the like charcuterie board slash raclette dinner that we're having um, for Christmas night. We're kind of doing like a cheese board kind of a thing. Basically, <laughs> we're basically eating like fruit, vegetables, cheese, meat, bread all day Christmas. That's, that's what's happening. <laughs> so we have like some little things to offset some of that. So I've got strawberries. I usually get berries at Trader Joe's, but um, these ones are only $3. So we'll probably end up with two packs of strawberries because I was also planning on doing maybe French toast for Christmas morning. Um, just cause we never have that. So it's like kind of fun and different. So I also got French bread today cause you want your bread to not be super fresh. <laughs> it's better to have it, you know, a couple days later. Um, that's literally, what French toast is, is like old bread soaked in egg and milk and spices. Um, cool, there's my marshmallows. So we're gonna make some Rice Krispie Treats. And we got some more like fun drink options. We're probably gonna do like cocktails. We decided we didn't want wine. We were probably are gonna do cocktails for this weekend. And honestly for New Year's too, probably. We've been having wine all, like a lot lately. Um, like whenever we wanna have alcohol, it's been wine. So I'm kind of ready to like get back into some mixed drinks. I think it'll be fun. So we got like, this isn't specifically for that, but just Vincent wanted some Crystal Light. We got um, some Cokes so we can do like rum and Cokes because Vincent really likes those too. I will probably just do like Moscow Mules or something. I've been kind of missing that. I really like those. So we got some, we couldn't find ginger beer, which I know was better for those drinks, but this ginger ale is really good. It's from like a local, company. So we just got this ginger ale instead since we couldn't find ginger beer. Cream cheese for that crap thing I mentioned. We also got some hot cocoa, which again, I've been really craving hot cocoa just cause it's, you know, the season for it. Um, I don't like it all the time. So obviously it's like so sugary, but for Christmas, I thought that would be fun. And then the last thing is also for that crap thing. Cocktail sauce. <laughs> so I think I want to do Rice Krispie Treats tonight, but honestly today I just like my only goal is to vacuum. Our house is filthy. So I want to get everything off the floor and vacuum and then tomorrow 
we're gonna do like more cleaning and honestly now that I'm saying that out loud we might just say vacuuming for tomorrow too tomorrow we're gonna do like a really good clean of the house like I'm determined it's I don't think it's ever been dirtier it definitely reflects like our mood this year it's just been weird it's been hard we've been home all the time so you know things get grimier Okay, so, um, our crispy juice will probably be later tonight. I don't know when. It might just be tomorrow, too. I don't know. I'm in a weird, depressed kind of mood. I don't really feel like doing anything except maybe playing video games. I don't know. <sighs> it's just like one of those weird days where everything feels kind of hard, don't you think? Yes, Vincent's been having a weird day, too. Today sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I have an update for you. I'm going to sit at my desk, my traditional spot these days. Um, okay, so update. I got an email today. Okay, well, first of all, let me backtrack. Um, so with PayPal, this is something I learned. In case you ever have a transaction that's fraudulent like mine was, go watch yesterday's video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to explain it again because it's a long story. Um, but if you have a transaction like that that you're disputing on PayPal, um, just so you know, they give you 20 days once you've opened a case with them to work it out with the seller. If you can't work it out with the seller, what happens is that the case closes automatically at 20 days if you don't escalate it. So I went ahead, knowing that the seller probably is not going to want to work with me, I went ahead on PayPal and opened up my case and then down at the bottom there's a link to escalate it to a claim. And then at that point, PayPal reviews it um, and then makes a decision. So I went ahead and escalated it like the very next day that I made it, which was yesterday, because I knew that it wasn't like nothing was gonna happen with it otherwise. And I got an email today that PayPal reviewed it and decided in my favor, which means that they're refunding me that amount from the shop back to my account, which is awesome. Um, and then at the very same time, I got an email from Etsy saying that my case with them was closed, but it was because they had gotten notification that the package had been delivered. And obviously we know it's been delivered to completely the wrong place. So I got on Etsy and like went into their customer service chat and was like, hey, this case shouldn't have been closed because like, if you look at where it was delivered, it was not delivered to my address. It was delivered to somewhere in Indiana. You can see that the shop is closed down. Obviously, this is some kind of scam, but like, you know, I didn't get the package. So they looked at it and in like two seconds, they were like, yeah, we'll issue a refund. So sorry that it wasn't a good experience. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting two refunds. I think that both companies are debiting them back to my account. I think I might be getting double debited. So here's the deal though. I think I'm just not going to say anything and I'm just going to let it be because yesterday, I know this is like a long rambling story, but it's okay. Just stick with me. Um, yesterday I finally opened up the packages for Vincent's present. I'm not going to say what they are because he's literally sitting right here, but I had gotten two packages, which I thought was kind of strange because I didn't order that much stuff. But, um, I finally opened up both the packages last night after I finished the vlog and one of the packages had my order in it, everything good. The other package had someone else's order in it, like completely, like it was not what I ordered and they had like their own packing slip with like their information and their order and everything. But somehow their order and their packing slip ended up in a box with my name on it. So it's like, great. So I called the company and, um, they were like, oh no, I bet that was supposed to be a Christmas present. I was like, yeah, that really sucks for Cameron Brown in Fort Lauderdale. Sorry, dude, if you're watching this, like you're, you're not going to get your Christmas present in time. But I had debated calling them or not because I knew it would be kind of a hassle and it is going to be kind of a hassle. They said their customer service would get in touch with me and like have FedEx come pick up the box to then deliver it to the right location. So um, I'm waiting on that like email or call from them whenever that happens. But I feel like I made the right choice. I didn't steal Cameron Brown's package. They're gonna resend it to him. I did the right thing. So I feel like if I get double debited back for all of my trouble with this chess set that I no longer even want, maybe it's just good karma. Maybe it's just karma coming back. What it would think? be even more good karma if the company that tried to scam you get double doinked. And That's where they true. have to where they have to pay twice that amount because you know what? <laughs> F scammers. Yeah, F scammers. We don't like them. Anyway, so there's the story. There's the full update. I did something nice for someone and Light Reebok know right away that their package was not delivered to the right place. 
And then, so Cameron Brown hopefully will get his package sooner rather than later instead of waiting forever and then having to call angry, not knowing what's going on. At least now they know. Um, so Cameron good Brown, problem. if you're listening to this, we care about you. We care about you, Cameron Brown from Fort Lauderdale. You and your medium-sized orange Reebok sweatshirt. Okay. <laughs> it was really cute. I almost wanted to keep it because I knew they weren't going to get it at Christmas any any <clears throat> get it for Christmas anyway. Anyway, okay. That's all I got for you. But do I vacuum today or do I just do it all tomorrow? Because I feel like it's going to take five minutes anyway and we should just do it tomorrow. Uh, what well, are we going to do for dinner tonight? Oh, God. Uh, that's this is the question. hardest question that we have to we answer every day. We are not doing takeout. We've been doing takeout twice. No, I don't even want to do takeout. Like, I'm tired of takeout. I just don't want to cook. But we have the fish that we have. So oh, we, yeah. We, we can do fish. We can do fish. Can I not take the time to bread it, though? Breading it just, is so no, much more. You don't have to just bread it. Just put it in the pan. Let's put it in the pan. Just put it in the pan. With, like, what do you want to have of it? Yeah, we have an all-white meal. <laughs> we have the mashed cauliflower that we have. We have the tempura. Cauliflower. cauliflower yeah, too. that would be good. We have the tempura cauliflower. We'll try that. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yes. We don't have to cook until later because um, Vincent is teaching until 7.45. Okay, Vincent is about to start his lesson. I'm going to play God of War for a little while. Me eating cheese because I definitely forgot to eat lunch today. Irresponsible, I know. Uh. I know. I When I'm just like sitting in front of the computer all day, I don't feel hungry because I'm just so sedentary. But then as soon as like we go to run a grocery errand or anything like that, I'm like... I'm starving. <laughs> is a trick from my mom. Um, she always individually wraps them in saran wrap and they last way longer and stay way softer. Don't leave them in the pan and definitely don't put them all on a plate together. Individually wrap them. It also encourages only eating one at a time because they are so addicting. Now we are gonna eat dinner. I made some delicious tilapia and um, this tempura cauliflower. It did not cook well. Like at all. Yeah, the tempura totally stuck to the aluminum foil in the oven, which is annoying. But if it tastes good, we decided we're willing to try it again and cook it differently next time because it sure looks kind of gross. But the fish should be really good. I just seasoned it with the 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's and then um, covered that with a little bit of flour and then pan fried them with butter. So it should be good. Vincent just finished his last class until the new year. So he's got a whole week of not really having any classes next week. And just finished his last one of this whole session, which is exciting. A lot of work. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Good good job, babe. Yes. I'm tired now. <laughs> What's your plan? Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Looks fun. It is fun. <laughs> Vincent likes it more than a lot of the reviews. Have some shown. Yeah, have fun. I know a lot of people complain about it. Just like, ming, ming, the game is not very interesting. But I'm just kind of like, eh. It's a good game. Here's the deal, guys. I ate a Rice Krispie treat and it was delicious. Um, we postponed all chores and Christmas wrapping and everything until tomorrow. I'm going to go play God of War and veg and then sleep. And I'll come back to you tomorrow which will be much busier and therefore a little bit more exciting. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through some of the slow parts of December this year. Um, you know, if we had things to do, it would be exciting, but COVID.
<laughs> all right have a good night don't forget to subscribe like this video love you bye so i've already been kind of tracking it and then all of a sudden like i can't contact the shop because the shop their whole account's gone on Etsy and UPS is delivering it to some random other place. I was like, okay, this is obviously like there's something wrong. So anyway, I spent all day yesterday filing reports with everybody. Luckily, I also purchased it through PayPal. All